Welcome back. As we all know, it's ghost and goblin season and spider season, as in spider veins, those unsightly lines on our skin. So today we have helped this Halloween season so that the only spiders you see are on your costume. Dr. Deborah Mangioni is the owner of Wisconsin Vein Center Medi Spa. She's also a vein expert. It's great to see you. Nice to see you, Molly. Thank you. And we should probably make a distinction between spider veins, which we know are mostly cosmetic, and then right. there are, of course, sure. more serious vein Varicose issues. Veins. Now, spider veins can be a sign of more serious vein issues, especially if somebody has symptoms. So it really does make sense to go to somebody who knows about venous disease to help sort that out. So what, what are spider veins though? How, how do you describe okay, them? So spider veins look like little spiders or like little trees. You know, they're kind of arborization of mm -hmm. veins under the skin. So they're lying right within the deeper portion of the skin and they're little tiny thread-like veins that are red, blue, or purple. And those veins have what we call feeding veins that aren't working and none of these veins are working properly. This is just kind of some before and after pictures. The one on the left is, of course, the spider veins that you could see on your leg. Almost kind of like treatment. in a patch. In a, very often in a patch, sometimes yeah. like in a rainbow distribution on the upper thigh. Very common in women to see that. Lots of little scraggly lines can also be present, just like little threads. Uh, they're unsightly. I think they're people unsightly. are embarrassed about them. Then yeah. sometimes they won't wear shorts or right. skirts. Plus, sometimes they can actually be bulging under the surface of the skin and they can be itchy, they can be painful, they can throb at night. Unfortunately, insurance doesn't ever cover spider vein treatment because it is considered cosmetic, not a medically necessary condition to treat unless you're hemorrhaging from it. Hmm. So, you know, it's something that's an out-of-pocket expense, but if you're gonna spend money, you better go to somebody who knows what they're doing. I agree. The one thing that I think is so wonderful about it is that treatments now are in office, yes. recovery is so quick. Right, um, and pretty much painless. I was just gonna say, you make it relatively painless. Absolutely. It's a tiny little needle that we might use for injection of sclerotherapy, which is the gold standard for treatment. And we use a medication now that's a detergent based medication. It's not like the old what we used to have saline solution, salt solution that was very concentrated. And that's what was used to destroy these little veins by injecting them. And that was very painful. Nowadays, what we're injecting isn't painful. There might be a little itchiness to it, but once we put some compression over it, the discomfort goes away. What's the recovery like then? So you said compression, so you wear right. compression. We have people wear compression stockings for about three to five days after oh, the procedure, that's, that's all. And they can wear, they wear them overnight the first night, but then after that they can do any activities they want. We just say avoid hot tubs and saunas and things that can dilate your veins as your skin gets mm -hmm. hot so because your body's trying to cool off. We don't want to do that. We want those veins to stay tiny and clot off and go away and then your body absorbs them. That's amazing. I mean, the before and afters um, are, are pretty incredible. Right. What I think is um, sort of unfortunate for, for, for women is that they're so much more likely than men That's right. to have spider veins, right? But women have to understand too, about 80% of us will get them at some point in our life. Mm -hmm. And so it's not anything to be embarrassed about. Just do something about it if you don't like the appearance. These are really what we call telangiectasias. That's the official medical term for these little things and they're formed from capillaries that are within the skin and these little veins aren't working properly they're not doing anything you're not interrupting your uh, circulation if you get rid of them they're just there as nuisances. Yeah, they are a nuisance. Um, in terms of, um, you mentioned that insurance doesn't cover it because they're considered cosmetic um, or not a serious medical threat. I'm sure when looking at them then, you wanna be sure that it's not an indication that somebody right. has the more serious right. varicose and veins. Good point. And so that's why we can talk to somebody, really understand their history and any treatment we do requires a consultation first so that we can really find out if they have any symptoms that they they weren't aware could be caused by venous disease and that these spider veins might be associated with it. And there are some clues about where on the leg they are located that might make us think uh, we better look at this a little bit more carefully with ultrasound. But if they are truly cosmetic and we can kind of sort that out, we will tell somebody that and let them get treatment cosmetically instead of going through an ultrasound and a longer determination of what's going on. When we look at before and afters and we see such an incredible um, result in the after, I wonder how many treatments it takes to get to that point. Okay, spider vein treatment is a process. You know, we can take care of varicose veins very often with just a single treatment in the office. You know, it's a minor surgical procedure, but it is a surgical procedure. 
With spider veins, uh, it is a process. And so you might, ha you have to expect at least two treatments, frequently three treatments to get these spider veins to go away or fade enough that you feel comfortable. Then once you get to that point, do, do the results tend to last or is it those something results that needs last. maintenance? You might need maintenance for others that pop up, but those veins will be gone. Nice. And I know right now you're offering 20% off. We to are. sort of celebrate the Halloween That's right. season in for spider October, veins. October, we are offering 20% off a treatment of spider veins. And you can call the office if you haven't been in and have a consultation. Uh, there's a fee for the consultation that goes toward your treatment. So it's not that you're being charged anything extra. And it's just that the treatment has to be performed within October in order to take advantage of this special. Wonderful. Nice that the cost of that consult goes toward your treatment. So if you are cursed with spider veins, Perhaps the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpot can help you acquire more beautiful legs. There you go. They're offering 20% off sclerotherapy. Give them a call. Here's the phone number to find out if you're a good candidate. 262-746-9088 or go online to wimedispa.com. Their beautiful facility is located in Pewaukee.